Electro Charge is insane now in Genshin Impact. Genshin is known for its what was once unique combat and element system and generally we haven't seen too many changes over the last few years. The most we have seen that has significantly impacted the game was the release of Dendro. Granted, some reactions for Dendro were already in the game, like Burning, but after the release of Genshin Impact 3.0, we saw the greatest implementation to the elemental system since the release of the game, Genshin Impact. Dendro shook the game and was meta-defining and became a core element to many teams and team builds, making it really strong pick for many characters or many players rather. But since then, we haven't really gotten any changes of new things coming to the elemental reactions front, I mean until now. Some elemental reactions have now been buffed as of 5.2 and in this video I'm going to mainly focus on the electro charged reaction. Initially, this reaction wasn't very appealing to me until the release of Tartaglia. Tartaglia is just an incredibly fun unit, especially once he, or since he was released for the first time, which made it a little bit more fun. He was so easy to use and so easy to have reactions going on alongside him that he just made this electro charge reaction a little bit more viable and a little bit more fun. It just did not perform as well as some other reactions like Vaporize or Mina. Then again, Genshin did get a few more characters that helped make other reactions more viable like Overload from Chevrus and made it just a little bit more fun to run less popular teams or reactions rather thanks to these new characters, which is really awesome. Though those types of implementation meant that you'd need to get those characters so you would enjoy those specific elemental reactions is simply not optimal and is pretty much temporary. You need those characters to do those things that you want to do. Now, it doesn't mean that those reactions were necessarily bad, but they just weren't good enough in comparison to some other reactions. For Electro Charge, we haven't really seen a character use it to its full potential, but now, thanks to the release of Auroron, we might have to introduce this new reaction and put it to the test. Well, it's not really a new reaction, but the new buff. Not only with the new release of Auroron that Electro Charge has now been revitalized, but also thanks to the changes Genshin has made to the Electro Charge reaction itself. Genshin simply decided to increase the amount of damage or the percentages of Electro Charge and it is now much, and I mean much, more viable. And not only did Electro Charge get a buff, but the other reactions such as Overload, Superconduct, as well as Shattered, all have a new buff as well, which is really awesome and definitely something I want to try out with some new team. Electro Charge itself is genuinely a fun reaction to use and to just have around. It's just such a fun reaction to have because of how cool it is. So many characters have the ability to use this reaction since the vast accessibility of Electro characters are available and it has never been easier to use this reaction against opponent. This reaction has one flaw, that it really needs to have many enemies to work. This also meant that if you really want to make use of this reaction, you're going to need a multitude of enemies to truly show its potential. Luckily for us, it's really easy to access these enemies thanks to the use of the Spiral Abyss. So I put the reaction to the test and well, here's what happened. But first, I need to show you guys how I might rebuild a few characters and I didn't really want to invest too, too much into it. So I went into my character list and started to think about teams that I wanted to try out and they all involved Auroron, but some did not, which I was kind of excited for. And thankfully, I do have Auroron built, so if I do want to use him, I pretty much can. I also needed to have Elemental Mastery to be a main factor to many of these builds since it also buffs a Electro Charge, which is really, really nice. Something is kind of missing. I don't really have that many Elemental Mastery stuff, 
so it's going to be pretty difficult to find the correct build and artifacts to get those elemental mastery numbers up there. So it's time to scuff some builds together to get loads of elemental mastery and simply test out how good the change actually was. Now with these reactions, the higher your character level, the stronger these reactions are. It's not the case for many of the other reactions, but it is definitely the case for superconduct, for overload, for electro charge. So it's kind of really important to have your characters be at level 90. Though I have to say, I don't plan to invest too many of my books to 90 of these characters just yet. So I was okay with losing out on potentially a large portion of damage, but hey, I really do need to save the resources.